What's up boys? Today we're doing some shit in the shop. But I bought a lot of shit at Biltema. So I got a 20 ton hydraulic press for all the shit for the E39 and pressing bushings and whatever. I thought that we should try this thing out. Uh, I don't really have any bushings to press at the moment, but we we should try and press some stuff. You know, I've seen the hydraulic press guy on YouTube, Satan Aperk. So uh, I thought we should test it out, maybe press some cans or some other shit we can find laying around in the shop. But having a hydraulic press, uh, I think it would be really nice. Also, a 20 ton feels like the perfect like hobbyist kind of press. So that's real nice. I also got this cart, like a tool cart. And I got all the accessories and etc. Let's get all of this unpacked and assembled. I think this will require a lot of assembly. Let's get some shit done. Yo boys, we're back. This is a long time after that last clip, but I spent a bunch of time cleaning out the shop. Uh, at least now it's looking semi kind of ish good. The bathroom's a lot more cleaner, uh, but it's drying off right now. Nice. And also I've hung up this tarp in front of the E39 because we got this tarp from our neighbors because they're moving out of their shop. So this is a lot sturdier than the plastic I had up before to keep all of the dust out and it's all hanging by a wire up there in the roof so it's really easy to you know close this up if you want to then we also got this new tire rack uh, and by the way yes we'll get to the hydraulic press and all of that shit later I just want to show you guys what we have done and we have such a buttload of tires so it's really nice to have these uh, Leo's started to, he isn't really finished with this But he put a sheet of stainless steel all over his bench Man this looks so good He got this for a killer deal from our neighbors when they moved shop He also got this Which I'm super butt hurt for Because I've, I really want this shelf And I've asked him like four times You know, I need to make a deal with him But apparently he wants to keep it So I guess I guess that's his so all of my Milwaukee shit has always been laying at the table here in that corner and I wanted them put up a bit more nicely so we put up all of the tools here also got the chargers hanging on the wall and I put up this small shelf for like brain cleaner and stuff that I want to keep for myself then we have the, the rest of the shit over there Sometimes you want to keep some cans for yourself. And yeah, basically we've just been cleaning up the whole place. Still it's kind of a mess, but at least it's much better than before. So let's get into this press, because I've tried pressing some shit with it. I have a lot of sketchy tools in my shop that are kind of not so nice to use. This is by far the most sketchiest tool I have ever tested out. And that's not because this is a bad press. I've uh, pressed out some bushings tried some different things and it actually works really good really happy with it I'm so glad it came with this like uh, I don't know what you call it we call it a monometer but uh, like so a pressure gauge so you can see how many tons you're using to press so this is a 20 ton press so max of 20 tons 
but it's real nice because you can see when a bushing lets go if you push it up to let's say 10 tons and it start going down to about nine after uh, after pumping it you know that the bushing is getting loose and uh, you're soon uh, set to go and uh, you'll soon hear a big ass bang when that shit gets loose I did not think I'd get afraid of any tools in my shop but I'm really afraid of this one I uh, use that sheet of metal over there to <laughs> place right here when I'm doing bushings this is also you can move this to wherever you want which is nice if you have to move it I guess I would be able to just put these bars another hole up to get it closer to this but I'm too lazy to do that so instead I'm going to pump this handle a lot because it's so much easier so as you guys can see this takes a whole lot of time you can convert this to like a pneumatic system so that you can run it off the compressor and uh, you don't have to do this and uh, this one is not welcome to hydraulic press channel this is a ball cap Pretty sure you guys know what these look like. We are gonna test this out under about 20 tons of pressure to see what it looks like. So as you guys can see this is not as glamorous as on the hydraulic press channel. It takes a fucking long ass time boys. So we have pushed it to up about 20 US tons. it becomes quite small so uh, yeah I guess you could say that the press works really good <laughs> the one thing that's bad about this press though that I have to tell you guys if some of you are interested in buying one uh, when you get this cheap ones or at least when you get this exact model you don't get any instructions at all on how to put it together so I just looked at pictures on the box and pictures on Google and what it looked like and I tried to make it as similar as possible. It's pretty self-explanatory how you do all of the shit. So uh, she's bolted up right now, but I had quite the nightmare getting this all together. But it works so good. It would be so nice to have this tool. Even though it's sketchy as fuck and I'm afraid every time I use it, it would be so nice to be able to press your own bearings and your own bushings in the shop. As you guys might know, we have quite a few to press for the E39 both the rear and the front subframe so this will be really nice using for that I actually I don't know if I, if I actually said this but I got this from my grandpa so uh, thanks a lot grandpa this will help so much in working on the E39 but dude it's sketchy as you can see here on the label <laughs> you have some uh, risk of uh, fucking explosion so let me tell you this uh, this warning label is really correct and yeah we're also thinking I should uh, mock this up in CAD because you can actually replace these end bits and uh, we're gonna make like a V shape and make another V shape down here so we can actually use this as a cunt press I'm gonna put right here what it's like in English but so you can bend the pieces of metal and the sheet metal if you want to fab up some uh, mounts or something with 20 tons of pressure you could bend like I guess like three four millimeter plates of steel uh, which is so nice if you want to make mounts or shit and you can make really good bends or whatever a lot better bends than you could make in a vise I'm gonna try to mock, mock that up together someday and uh, we'll get that to my buddy at the machine shop and he'll make some shit happen and this is what the actual tool cart came out to. So why do I want one of these when I already have one of those? Well, let me tell you. I know you guys have already seen in videos where I'm working on cars and I take out the whole inserts from my toolbox and carry them to the car. I do that because when you have these toolboxes, they actually become really heavy. So let's just say in the future we're gonna work work on a car I just know like yeah we're gonna use some half inch shit and I just take out that insert maybe we want some spanner wrenches and I don't know maybe we want this set of files with us we can just put them right here and I don't know maybe the angle grinder 
that would be nice to have with you the ear protection then you have all of your tools right here on the cart you pull this shit out and all of the inserts are actually measured so that they go perfectly into the tool cart and you can lay a bunch of other stuff down here maybe you want some cancer brake clean your angle grinder or whatever and you can just pull this to your car have all the tools ready and accessible this is so easy to maneuver and pull around also you got your paper here which you always need when working on cars and a nice trash bin right up the side of it with a nice actual compartment here where you can put stuff then you can put your old parts over here your new parts so when you're done working on your car oftentimes you grab all the tools you go to your toolbox grab more tools carry everything back with this thing i can just grab all my shit go to the car work on it then i can put uh, all the old parts back and maybe some boxes and i can pull this back again throw away the boxes get away with the old parts then i have all of the tools and shit here go back to my box and now i have all of the tools right here And now we're done. So much nicer than having to carry everything in your hands. And then when you do something like, you know, you want to do brakes, you know what kind of tools you're going to use. Just grab everything uh, off the wall here and off in the toolbox. Take everything on the cart and you go and do your shit. Then when you're done, put all of the tools back on the cart and roll it back there. That way I'll have a much easier time actually having everything organized, I believe at least. So that's why we got this tool cart. A really nice piece. I'm actually kind of stoked to have this right now. I thought about buying this for a couple of weeks now, I think. But yeah, boys, that's about it. I've been stressing out cleaning the shop and I have two videos to make today and it's already so late. So I've just been feeling like I have so much to do and I don't want to lose the nice uploading schedule that we've had for a couple of weeks now. But for you guys who are still around to watch the end of this video, I have something cool to show you. This video will come up before this one, but uh, we've actually fixed the dent on the 740. This is not the cool thing, but thought I could show you guys anyway. So, uh, I mean, it's not looking great, but it's a lot better than before. And this weekend, hopefully, I hope this happens. If it doesn't happen on Sunday, it will happen the week after. But I've actually got ice racing tires here from my friend's Volvo 240 and uh, he has a rally car but right now he's studying in the south of Sweden so he can't really use it at the moment and I asked him if I could borrow his uh, ice tires because hopefully now on Sunday uh, we're gonna go out on a lake. I've never driven with ice tires but I have ridden in a car with those on and it's fucking nutty the amount of grip you get with those. I'm so glad I got to borrow those from a friend. Leave a thumbs up if you're stoked for ice driving because I'm fucking stoked boys. But I'll see you all in the next video. As usual if you want to check out the Instagram link down below. Patreon page link down below. And I'll see you boys in the next one. Bye. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is